Ethan, uh, you can exhale. You score oh, no. all 12 of your points in the second half. This one came right down to the wire. I'm sure there will be a lot of learning moments from the end of that game, but how'd you guys win this one? Oh, definitely, yeah. Um, I mean, we've been in that situation before. You know, earlier on this season, we, we lost a lot of close games. Um, and, you know, you can see uh, how we finished this game. We were able to execute and, um, you know, get the W. And it's better to learn lessons uh, getting a W than taking a loss. So that's, that's why I'm smiling. Ethan, it, it seemed like earlier in the year, it was like you had to get your 20 for Oregon State to win. And mm -hmm. it's really evolved now to where Lucas is chipping in, Alatisha is chipping in more. How, how much does that take the pressure off of you knowing that you have to get big numbers to win, knowing that you know, now have some guys coming along with you? All right. Oh, no, it's amazing. It's, it's, it's fun to play. And I knew I knew it was going to come. You know, um, it just takes some time sometimes, you know, for guys to get their confidence and get a feel for, you know, Pac-12 level of play. And, you know, you, you, you can see what um, my teammates are doing. And it, it's fun to play with. It for sure takes a lot of pressure off. Well, you guys are balanced. You have 10 guys playing uh, in the scoring column, finishing the scoring column, mm -hmm. I should say. But I want to talk about your defense. Isaac Bonton, yeah. the second leading scorer in the Pac-12, he scores seven points, only two field goals, and they both came in the first half. What was the key to guarding him tonight? Um, you know, just, just guarding the ball with all five uh, of our players, um, everybody in help gaps, and know, you know, that a lot of the action is going to be run for him because, you know, he's one of their main guys. And uh, we had a great scouting report, and, uh, you know, uh, us as players, we, we were able to execute, and with the guidance of the coaching staff, it was just, it was good. Ethan, we had Jared on on Thursday night after you guys won, and, and we were talking about how you guys, have, you guys have exceeded expectations. I mean, you were picked last in the preseason media poll, and here you are winning games every night. Um, what, and we didn't ask Jared this, but what are your goals as a team um, you know, as you've gotten into conference play? Mm -hmm. Just just win every game. Uh, you know, the Pac-12 play is, is going to be, uh, you know, a show every single night playing against a tough team with so much talent in the, in the um, conference. And, you know, just locking in one night, uh, not not trying to look too far down the road. But, you know, our ultimate goal is to, you know, uh, win the, win the Pac-12 tournament and, and go on deep run in the postseason. And, you know, but at the same time, we're not we're not looking just to play good in the Pac-12 tournament. You know, we got to focus every single game, take it game by game, and, you know, just go from there. Well, you got a big week next week, Ethan. Three road games, starting yeah. with Colorado on Monday and then the Arizona schools. One more before we let you go. You are now 10th on Oregon State's all-time scoring list. What does that mean to you? <laughs> oh, that's, that's amazing. Um, you know, it, a, lot of, a lot of great uh, players have been able to play here, and, you know, I'm fortunate enough to be, you know, in, in the books with uh, a bunch of great names, and uh, I appreciate all the guys that, you know, came here before me uh, to make it possible for me to play. And, you know, it's just it's, it's an honor. I didn't know that, so, yeah. Well, 1,470 points and counting. Congratulations Congrats, on getting Ethan. it done, and thanks for spending Thank some time with us. Yep, thanks for having me.